I'm Andrew Hoyle for CNET and I'm here with the HTC 601. It's a mid-range Android phone packing a 4.5 inch screen, LTE and stylings from some of its more expensive siblings. So looking at the front of the phone, it's easy to see the family resemblance. We've got the dual boom sound speakers at the top and the bottom and we've got the touch sensitive navigation buttons just below the screen. Now turn it round and it's a bit more similar to older HTC phones like the One X. It's got this matte rubberized effect and this slightly raised camera unit. It has a 4.5 inch display with a 960 by 540 pixel resolution. Now that's not going to keep hardcore tech fans happy, uh, particularly those of you who are looking for full HD displays on phones like the Galaxy S4 or the HTC One, but it's got plenty of pixels for the essentials and it seems quite bright and bold. It's running on Android 4.2.2, which isn't the latest version of Android, but it's got HTC Sense 5, so you probably wouldn't notice. Now, Sense 5 really overhauls the interface, giving these large, quite minimalist tiles and the blink feed scrolling news aggregator on the left of the home screens. It has a 5 megapixel camera on the back. Now that's a normal megapixel camera rather than the ultra pixel camera you'll see on the HTC One. Uh, we haven't been able to see results yet so don't really know how it compares. Um, it does however have the Zoe software that allows you to capture multiple images at once and combine them into a GIF or into an action sequence photo. It's running on a dual core 1.4 gigahertz processor and it's uh, powered by a 2100 milliamp an hour battery which should be plenty big enough to keep it going for a few hours. So there's no word from HTC yet on exactly how much this is going to cost or when we're going to see it, but it is expected to be in stores before Christmas. Make sure to keep it CNET for all the latest news. I'm Andrew Hoyle and this is the HTC 601.